Welcome back to Open Up. Uh, what an extraordinary guest. Where did we find her? Don, you found her. I'm so glad. And I told Don, I said, Don was saying, oh, we're going to have Arlena Waller on the show. And I said, Don, don't have her until I get back from out of town. <laughs> and I would love the opportunity because, as I said, I'm impressed with you both individually and collectively. So for you to even think of me out of all your guests and your 27,000 viewers in 19 countries. 19 countries. Hours. She power, she just mm. oozing out of passion. And I think it's important, Don, when whatever you do in life, if you operate from a place of passion, whether it happens now or whether it happens eventually, I, that's what I tell women all the time. Operate from a place of passion. Live your life with passion on purpose. So first of all, you know, I am a mom. That is my top, top priority. Oh, okay. And you know when you're building a business or you're building a brand, you have yes. to have a personal core value and a professional core value. And all my professional partners are, anyone I do business with, I make them very aware that my personal core value is over my professional core value. And it's that if my children need me or reach out to me, 369. 369. <laughs> he went in knowing that she had high standards. Mm -hmm. And all the student athletes stepped up to the plate mm -hmm. and met those standards. And that's what we need more of in coaching. Yes. Yes. We don't just need a coach. We need them to also mentor our children because we're entrusting them with you. Uh -huh. Give them and feed back into their lives and prepare them for the next step. That's really what sports should be used for at this level. And my current mentor, I contacted him about six times before he even agreed to meet with me. I felt that this was the one person that can open doors, that can help me understand. Because I was rebranding myself when I came to Bakersfield. And I was like, I just need someone who's been there, done that, to just give me feedback. Welcome to Open Up. Thank you so much. Call me anything fabulous, though. It's called being the director of Organized Chaos. I was always like this. I come from a family of 13. There's 10 girls and three boys, and I was always the go-to sister for any ideas <laughs> my brothers and sisters had. They kind of had to pass it and kind of get my approval. And I didn't know at that time, like we were talking earlier, you were yes. molding who you are today. And so, yeah, it's always been a part of who I was. You know? And I love it. Yes. I love wow. it. And, and we were talking, I said, I finally figured out what my ministry is. I'm a bridge. I'm a super connector. Mm -hmm. And I'm proud to be that. I connect people, put them together. And when they develop, I'm like a proud mama. I love to watch it. So this, the first book that I wrote is called 369 Things a Woman Must Enjoy Before She Dies. And I wrote this book and we interviewed women and we did videos and we did come to parties. We always want to make everything fun. <laughs> And so yep. the women gave us great feedback. And so I compiled a list of 369 things that are very realistic, very doable to get you started. This is not an end all on just really finding that path to live in your life with passion on purpose. Okay. Well, obviously via social media. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm able to connect with some inspirational, powerful, amazing women. Uh, right now, I have a weekly talk, and she's called Life Cheerleader, and she's kind of doing the same thing. And then there's another lady that I connect with. She's called, you know, Inspire. It's just we connect, and we inspire, and we help each other. Because at the end of the day, every woman that you help, you help the entire world because we are the foundation of the world. Well, actually, you know, I am so excited to bring more She Power Ambassador tips to help women to be more fabulous without an apology. I like me. And I like me a lot. Yeah. I'm not exactly where I want to be, but I can go move and empower another woman and be okay with that and not have to hide that power. Yeah. Some of the things that you go through in life, you just look at God and say, wow, really? <laughs> that is so not funny. And eventually I got to the point where I started really enjoying not being engaged all the time. Just being by myself yes. was powerful. Mm -hmm. It was refreshing. Mm -hmm. And I'm actually starting to really like it a lot more than I thought I ever would. <laughs> it is so important to go out there and network and to shake hands and to get to know people. Because it's important to get to know people, but it's more important that people get to know you. Find someone in your community. Maybe you can babysit. Maybe you know a couple who needs a night out. You have to find three causes that you give of yourself expecting nothing in return. 
I come from a family, like I said, of nine of ten women. And I enjoy relationships no, with men. No drama in that family. Uh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, you're walking around fat and I'm talking to myself. <laughs> because you're too heavy and you're too serious, it's time to lighten up and have a good time. Wow. Yes. And by coming to the show. <laughs>